Hi everyone, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Angel Lovey with your weekly reading for July 13th to 19th. If you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank my subscribers for all their likes and shares. Okay, I would not be able to do this without you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please visit my website, angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com. Book and purchase your readings. Email me your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com. Also, check out my arts and crafts store. I'm going to leave the link below. This week, I'm going to be using the Crystal Wind Oracle by Antonio Deliberado. I've already set the intention that the most important messages for the week comes forth. I'm gonna. I'm also going to be highlighting which guardian angel we are going to be working with for this week, as well as a message from the love oracle, which will highlight a message from the heart. Okay? So, and I also want to address the elephant in the room. I am the, ta the, um, the reader who uses the iPad. Okay? There are many um, apps on the iPad, and with regard to choice and free will, you know, I, cho I, I choose to use my iPad. When I was getting into this, you know, it was totally new to me, and thank God for um, the free apps, which, you know, assisted me in connecting with Spirit. And now that I have that connection, and I've been asked, to share, you know, give back to, um, to, to, to society, give back to humanity. You know, I chose, you know, to just continue using my um, iPad. You know, I, I, um, I understand that everything is energy and vibration. And since I have that connection, you know, I feel comfortable in sharing you know those messages from spirit with you I just want to let you guys know do not let anybody tell you you can't do something that you put your mind to you know and not because you're the only one doing it um, for you to feel like you know you need to um, you need to follow the norm everybody has choice and free will and if you one of the viewers who who have access to the app and you want to use your app feel free to do so if you want to subscribe to me knowing that I use my app I totally appreciate it you know we all have choice and free will and we need to um, you know use use our choices and free will okay so I hope you enjoy this message from spirit I have already set the intention that the most important messages come forth So, for the week, first card, second, and third. Okay. So, the first card I have is Fairy Magic. Okay. And I also want you to check out the images on the cards to see what message messages pop up from your spirit guides and angels what speaks to you so fairy magic's message is surround yourself with beauty okay I'd advise you to go on the outdoors out in nature you know and um, just connect with the earth. Walk your feet on, on the ground and feel your connection to the earth because we're all connected, you know. That's that's where we're from. Work your magic. You are learning to cultivate your inner beauty. You enjoy life and do not fear it. You cultivate beauty in your thoughts, words, and actions, your appearance, home, and relationships mirror your inner loveliness you could also go do massages um, bring out the scents the candles the things that make you feel beautiful where 
you know, do your makeup, your hair, you know, take care of yourself this week. The next card I have is Hina. Hina is a confident messenger and creator of ideas. Okay, so again, she's out in nature. Connect you know, with the earth. It's highly important that you do so. In the open air, that's how our angels can connect with us. Just by watching the birds, just by watching the butterflies, the flowers, all the beauty that surrounds us on the earth. Okay? So Hina's message is self-assurance. Your confidence based on your your confidence based on authentic achievement inspires others. Knowing yourself, you fear no one. You regain confidence and move forward, walking serenely into an unknown situation. You are capable of the task at hand. You may be in a situation requiring leadership. Someone needs you to take the reins and fly with inspiration. Call on Hina's vibrant energy to articulate what you need to succeed on your mission. Okay? So connect with the earth. Harness your um, projects, you know, the path that you're on. Stand up for your friends, your relatives, whoever needs you this week. Creative expression of ideas. And the third card is Invocation. A Mayan goddess summons a celestial ceremony. Okay, call on your higher self. Your higher self is the, the link between heaven, um, your link between heaven. Your higher self holds your contract. Your higher self communicates directly with the creator so they're asking you to channel messages from your higher self align with your planets align with your sun your moon okay bring out the candles your your incense your sage you know a celestial ceremony connect with you know your higher self the angelic realm you are ready to meditate or pray it is time for you to ask for help, a time to light a candle and start the process of recreating yourself and begin a new era in your life. The age of awakening begins with your own. Who do you want to become? Utilize the transformative energies of the now. And um, this week, I think it's the 15th, 16th, there is a new moon in Cancer. So high manifestation period. You know, this is the, the we are moving on to the next stages of our lives. We're calling on the people that we want to take with us or the people that, you know, whoever we want to bring with us on our the next part of our journey. So it's highly important that you communicate with your higher self, you know, to um, ensure that you know your way forward. OK, so. Fairy magic, surround yourself with beauty, creative expression of ideas, and call on your higher self this week. The next oracle I'm going to call upon is the Ask Angels Oracle to highlight which guardian angel we are going to be working with for this week. Okay. Since everything is energy... And we have Archangel Shamuel, serve with love. Okay, Archangel Shamuel is the finding angel. He finds new love, he finds things around the home, he finds new careers, um, new relationships. Okay, so... He's asking us to serve with love this week. And with regard to choice and free will, the angels will not come in 
unless you invite them in. So you can do a simple invocation. Archangel Shamuel, please come in and help me, assist me in serving myself and others with love. A simple invocation. Your soul desires to be of service to others. This card brings validation that you have been called into service as a healer, teacher, or light worker. Start wherever you are now asking the question, how may I serve myself and others with love? Serving others with love and gratitude will really pay off for you and can bring about significant, lasting change in the world. Love truly holds the power to carry you forward towards new positive experiences to be thankful for. Celebrate the goodness that is to come in the future by appreciating even the small things you have to be thankful for you in your life right now. And to connect with Archangel Shanuel, you can use fluorite. Okay, and love is the only thing that's real. If it's not love, it's hate. So you know, you need to decide where you at. Find that balance, find out where you at. Okay, the next oracle I'm gonna be calling upon is the love oracle, which is gonna highlight a message from the heart. The heart knows why we're here, what we want, need, and desire. And the only way we could find that out is by resorting to meditation and stillness. So let the divine messengers, you know, um, surface the most inform important information from the heart okay so when love is the answer why asking questions and everything just fell right into place okay so call on Archangel Shamuel and when love is the answer why ask any questions the highest order is love serve with love not only yourself but others. Guys, let me know how this message resonates with you for the week ahead. Please feel free to leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. Your comments, your feedback is highly important to me and look forward to my monthly and my weekly readings. Thank you very much. Namaste. Enjoy. Have a wonderful week. Love you guys. Bye-bye.